Hi guys and welcome to another Adobe Creative Collab this Friday afternoon. Um, I'm Matthew Mifsud, your host for this hour and today with us we've got the fabulous Rachel Presky. Hello Rachel, how are you? Hi, I'm good, thank you. How about you? I am awesome today. It's a little <laughs> bit cold here in London yeah. um, for those who are watching us from other parts of the world or the UK. Um, uh, but, you know, we're in the studio now, so I'm all happy and, and warm. <laughs> so, uh, yes, just a bit of housekeeping stuff today. So we will be taking your questions throughout the live, se um, live stream session. And today, as you, you know, we will be focusing on Adobe Fresco, our painting and drawing app, which Rachel will be using today to do a fantastic piece, which we'll get to in a minute. Um, but in the meantime, please feel free to ask any questions. We will do our best to respond. I have a team backstage who will be doing that. But I'll take your questions live as well. But also, not just about the product, ask Rachel about um, anything that you want to ask her, obviously within reason. <laughs> but um, uh, she has a fantastic story to tell, especially how she got to her career. And yeah, and on that point, enough about me. Tell us a little bit about you, Rachel. Uh -huh. Hi. Yeah, Hi. so... Um, where are you from, first of all? Oh, where I'm from? I'm from uh, just outside of London. It's Leighton Buzzard. Um, I do like that word, Leighton Buzzard. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a bird. It's a bird. Yeah. It's a bit buzzy down there. Um, no. Oh, okay. That's it's a quite down boring. There. <laughs> um, sorry. <laughs> Not the best flavor. Not the... No, No, okay. that was really mean of me. No, it's, 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 great. it's, it's your hometown. Her hometown is great. Yeah, it's let's, really let's, nice. let's leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> so, sorry. So, so, well, um, so, so, are you an artist? You're an artist, but you're an illustrator, right? Yeah, yeah, so mostly I'm a freelance illustrator. I um, work on majority editorial pieces, so okay. work conceptually, which is really fun, coming up with ideas for um, a story that I'm given, or sometimes it's just like two sentences. <laughs> oh, cool. So is it kind of like when you have like uh, a magazine piece, you do illustrations that accompany said magazine piece? Yeah, exactly. That's yeah. exactly what I do. Oh, cool. <laughs> that's cool. That's a, quite a fun job. Do, do you like what? Do you have the big names in terms of magazines or editorial piece that you've done? Um, I've got something in the big issue this week. Ah, oh, that is cool. quite cool. That yeah, I like. Cool. I'm like, I feel good about that. So that's fine. Well, guys, you should definitely buy the big issue. <laughs> Great cause. It is. It is. It is. Um, speaking of causes, so today, um, Rachel, do you want to tell us what we will be doing? Yeah, so I am going to be drawing mm -hmm. in Adobe Fresco. Yes. Using some of the live brushes. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, showing my process and how I create. Something. Yeah. Fun. And what is the something that we're going to create? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of what I was getting. Yeah. yeah, it's all right. It's all right. It um, yeah, we're doing a birthday card. So, we are, which yeah. has been loaded just right here behind oh, yeah. us, guys. There you go. Yes. So, uh, a birthday card. Do you often do birthday cards? No. no. It's brand new. Yeah. So, I've always wanted to do birthday cards, but I feel like they should be funny. <laughs> <laughs> they should be funny. So, yeah. Wait, so, what stopped you from doing birthday cards before? I it's like, I haven't funny. been that funny, no. No, so you feel like you're achieving a, achieving a level of humor now in your life. Yeah. You can, you can start I've doing I've got a bit of fun. <laughs> That's so weird. It is weird, but it's funny. At yeah. the same time, I see what you there do. You go. There you go. See, we, we, we've tried. Yeah. Hopefully people around us are enjoying that. <laughs> <laughs> so we're doing a birthday card today. So as you can see from your um, fresco there. Oh, what's... Sketch. Sketch there, sketch. actually, yes, the sketch. Um, we have, you've already started doing it, basically, you built it. Yeah. So this is not cheating, guys, because obviously in an hour, it's very difficult to draw in an hour, so you just want to kind of move things along, as yes, they say, exactly. right? So do you want to explain to us what you've done so far? Yeah, so <laughs> for this one, I was um, going with me on my own on my birthday with my dogs looking at me like, what are you doing? Okay. Celebrating. So, um, yeah, that's... <laughs> Sounds really lonely, doesn't it? And boring. It does a little bit, yeah, but I'm you sorry. said it, I didn't say it. Yeah. But you know, no, maybe not me. Okay. It could be a person it, who enjoys see... their life with their dog. Well, you have two dogs, don't I you? I do, yeah. You have two I dogs. enjoy my dog life as well. Do you do? Yeah. You do. I'll, we'll talk about her dog dogs <laughs> later on because they're actually really cute. Um, and uh, what I was going to ask you actually, so did you start here or do you like do a combination of real life sketching? What is your process to start to get to something like that? Yeah, so normally I would take a little sketchbook, draw yeah. in that, um, just do a couple of sketches to come up with some ideas and yeah. shapes, kind of how the person's standing. Um, and then if I've got something I like, yeah. pull it into um, Fresco. 
Nice. So uh, actually, the, the next question is, so is all your work digital? Yes. So it always has been. Yeah, it always has always been. Always has been. And uh, kind of what kind of apps do you mostly use? Is is a combination of Illustrator and Photoshop before Fresco? Yeah, so same. probably Photoshop before um, mm. Fresco's like... It's quite brand new, guys. Yeah, I mean, so exciting. This is one of the babies <laughs> in our suite, in our creative suite. Yeah, it's really handy to, like... I, all I brought with me today was my iPad and a pencil. Nice. Like, I can do it anywhere. Which is what? one of the great advantages, I guess. As an artist, you just don't know when yeah, you, exactly. inspiration is going to strike, <laughs> as they yeah, say. Yeah, that's yeah. Yeah. Um, so shall we start drawing now? Yeah, so, sure. So what are we going to start with first? So I always start with the background. Okay. And I was going to use, um, yeah, one of the live brushes. So okay. I favorited it. Which one is that? The round detail brush. For the, those who are, uh, um, um, as, you, as you start drawing, um, for those who don't know, the live brushes are very kind of something unique to Fresco. They're powered by our Sensei AI. And what it tries to do, um, it, I think if you zoom in, it, it, we'll be able to see kind of a water flow oh. happening, isn't it? Yeah. A little bit, yeah. So kind of like you can see, look, the water flowing yeah. in the brush, similarly to how you'd expect that to be on a watercolor. I think in this instance, it's quite loaded with paint, which is why we don't yeah. get that massive flow. And I think... Um, for a background, I like having like quite. I like. I used to just have like a flat color. Okay. But I really like that it's got kind of some texture to it. Which is why kind of these would be really handy because it gives you that kind of uneven. Yeah. Spread basically. And, like I don't even just do it quite messily. <laughs> well, it's nice. Look, cause, like I like how on the uh, right hand corner, sorry, top left corner, you've got a little bit of uh, fadedness there. Yeah. That kind of the effect of the live brushes is giving us. Yeah, exactly. Um, do you use any? Do you use the oil the, the oil brushes at all in your within your? Or do um, they don't fit your style. Really? No, I haven't really. I've I did try some. Yeah. It was quite cool. It gives some nice like. Well, it looks like paint. <laughs> yeah, blending. Yeah, but it also it was just the texture that it gave, like, looks quite real. Yes, and I do yes. like that. Um, I just yeah. haven't got around to it yet. Oh, well, well, well actually, that's quite interesting. How long have you been using Fresco? A couple of weeks, I think. Yeah, yeah. not long. Not long, no. not long. Which is quite good, actually. How, how, how do you feel uh, using it has been so far? It's cool. Have you picked it up quickly? Yeah, feel? really easily. I do. There's... It's just, it's just go, pick yeah. up and go, basically. Exactly. <laughs> as long as you can, like, go. oh, look, here's the pencils. I know what I'm done. Amazing. Easy. Do you use the pencil tool? Um, for sketches, I do. Okay. And I use them at the end, actually, right. exactly. for some shading and okay. things like that. So, so just while Rachel is preparing some things and carrying on with her drawing, on the left top left corner, you can see three types of brushes with the pixel brushes, which you can access pretty much all the Kyle Webster brushes. And if you have been using those brushes in Photoshop as well, you'll be able to automatically load them here if you sign in with the same account. You've got the live brushes, which as we can see, um, uh, this, these are the pixel brushes here. Live brushes, which Rachel has drawn the background using that. And finally, is the vector brushes. Oh, these me. ones. So you used, have you used vector brushes yes, before? Yes, I did actually use them for a logo design I did. Oh, wow, fantastic. Yeah, it was really cool. That's cool. I did like a hand-lettered logo. Nice. And then it meant, because it was being used on the side of a like coffee cart. Okay. And so they could blow it up really big. So obviously we know this. vector graphics means that you can do all of yeah. that. So when you did it, in what was your workflow? So what, how, what, what the process was? You designed in fresco, um, yeah, and then you moved it to Illustrator. No, I just did it just, all in oh, fresco, wow. yeah. Wow, that's incredible. So you left it all at that. That's really cool. So that's good, because you did, felt like you created something a bit natural. Yeah, yeah, it was really, I, yeah, I really enjoyed using it for that. Um, so what are we doing now? This is a, another live brush. I'm just colouring in the t-shirt. With white. Yes. Nice. Lovely. So, oh, let's put this above so I can see what I'm doing. So as you can see, she's just moved a bit of layers around, actually. That little icon next to that specific layer that she's drawing with indicates that it's a pixel layer. Um, which is the type of brush. But think about it as a raster layer when you're talking about things like in Photoshop, basically. Actually, the one at the very topmost has a symbol of like a round circle dot. That indicates it's a vector one. Yeah, yeah. that one, yeah. It's a vector um, um, brush. So that means that you have a combination of both, you know. And if you had to open this file in it is essentially a new cloud format that we have launched in Max this week, the CPSD or the Cloud PSD, it's a cloud doc that you will be able to kind of 
have the same structure in terms of, sorry, point in this direction, <laughs> the same filing structure that you have uh, in terms of layers in, within the Photoshop if you open this file there, which would already be there. And if we have time today, we'll have a look at that um, by opening um, the file in Photoshop for iPad. Okay, um, so we're carrying on drawing here. I quite like how in the live brushes, you're still getting a bit of that pink coming through, right? Yeah, and you get a bit of like, the edges aren't perfect and I like that a lot. <laughs> does it fit with your style in a way? Yeah, it really yeah. does. Because um, um, kind of before this, I was doing some vector illustrations in Illustrator. Yeah. Um, they were quite like chunky, mm. blocky things. And I liked it, but I feel like my style is a bit more free. Mm. So when Organic. it's... Organic. Yeah, it is. And when I'm like a bit more traditional. Yeah. So, but then when you're doing it digitally like this, it's... It's hard to get it's that, hard yeah, yeah, that happy medium, and mm. this is actually really doing it. <laughs> like you feel that this does justice to yeah, the, exactly. the style and themes of your work, yeah. really. Um, uh, in fact, I was going to ask you then, so uh, we, how, what, when did you decide to shift them from doing a pure vector-based image or illustration to something with more texture? Um, so when I was at, I did a master's in graphic design at university. Okay, cool. Um, well part-time masters, part -time masters yeah. so it was all like online all right which is fair enough yeah. i mean nowadays this is what everyone does yeah exactly a lot of it on my own at home <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, yeah you were saying stressful <laughs> why was it stressful okay why was it stressful <laughs> it's just the light just i don't know master, doing, it's, a, it's a master yeah, um, stressful. i was doing Money's like job. a 40 hour a week job oh so you're working a bit yeah. i wouldn't say but Very what were you doing what were you working as i was a project manager Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Hold the phone. <laughs> Hold these. So you were a project manager, right? Yeah. Okay. And now you're an illustrator. Yeah. And it was for like an IT software company. So it wasn't even... <laughs> did nothing. you study IT? Did you study no. anything? Really? <laughs> what did you study then? So I studied... This is quite a random story. Okay. Okay. So I studied biomedical sciences at uni, but that was because I wanted to be a doctor. <laughs> My eyebrows are going up. <laughs> <laughs> so, where, to be a yeah, so throughout school, like I always wanted to be a doctor. Okay. Um, and I always did art on the side, though. So it's not just out of the blue. No, it's like, randomly, I'm going to. That's just... it. I'm an artist. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be good. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's cool. It it's could happen. Cool. It could yeah. happen. It could happen. Yeah. So I, yeah, I went to uni and did biomedical sciences because I didn't get into medicine. Yeah. Which was like a lot. Brain activity, you know. <laughs> a lot of brain activity. <laughs> Didn't work for me. Good. It just wasn't your no, thing. No, it wasn't my thing. It just wasn't your thing. No. It's fair enough, you know. I think some people are just not meant for that. And I think when you discover, like clearly you have discovered, yeah. as we can see here, this fantastic art style, and you're an illustrator, now a professional illustrator. I mean, so what made you quit um, uh, being a project manager? How did you do um, I actually got made redundant. Oh. Mean. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah, so they kicked shame? me out. Question well, mark? it's not a shame at all. No. It's probably the best thing that's ever happened to me, I think. That's, so. that's, that's, an intro that's a really positive way of looking at yeah. life. And I guess, I guess sometimes things in life just happen, don't they? And, yeah, they do. There's and, nothing you can do about, about it. it. No. So I... Oh, oh. Just doing something a bit weird. Um, yeah, at the time, it was like August last year time. Okay. Not even that long ago. Okay. And I... Um, I was illustrating as well. I wasn't, okay, it so it wasn't like, like completely. I'm going to be an illustrator. An illustrator. So it wasn't once again yeah, the no, <laughs> magic no, thing. Exactly. No, no, I, was, I was doing a, kind of a bit on the side after okay. I'd done the masters. I yeah. didn't really want to do graphic design. Mm -hmm. So I was like, oh, I wonder what else I could do. And I'd done the bits of illustration, like yeah. I said. So then I went, um, I was just drawing. Just drawing. Yeah. So you were not like professionally though, like no, you were getting like full on scale commissions. No, and I hadn't like done that. anything. No. So I don't know where I got this confidence from. <laughs> Do you know what? Hey, but over a year ago now you're sitting here doing a live stream yeah, with us. Exactly. So it's all, so it's all clearly, it clearly worked kudos out. to you. Yeah, well, it's worked out clearly. <laughs> yeah. But kudos to you as well. You know, you managed to get this far. And so actually, it's interesting question. Like, would you. Like, how did you manage actually to get into this? Obviously, you already, as you said, you were drawing, but obviously there's a shift from doing it on the yeah. side to becoming your main livelihood. Um, yeah, so I, after I got made redundant, I was like, I'm going to 
try and make a do of this. Okay. Is that the way to say it? Uh, maybe. So I don't make know. a thing. Make, just make it happen. It made sense. Yeah. It made sense. Yeah. It made sense <laughs> in my head. It made yeah, sense. Yeah, so I, was, I just was like, I'm going to make this happen. I'd mm. got, you know, you'd get. It's an opportunity when you leave, I think, when you get made mm. redundant because they don't just say, see ya, and you yeah. lost your job. They give you a. Yeah, a package. Yes, a package. That's the <laughs> That's right way of work. saying it. That's called it work. Yeah, so cool. um, it meant that I could, I had a couple of months. So I was like, you know, I'll see what I can do in this. Mm. Um, I, so for that, after that, I did a couple of months of just like developing my portfolio. Okay. Didn't have a website. This is quite like, out there actually wasn't it <laughs> yeah but it's, i think it's very useful just in case anyone who's listening in and i know we already have some questions lined up so i will take your questions in a minute but you know it's rude to interrupt um, <laughs> <laughs> um so um i'll do that in a minute but it's very important if there's anyone listening out there you know how you've started off because it's yeah. it's very brave you know you've you've uh, shifted your career from project management and you've decided just to take on this yeah. and it's good to hear what a you've bit done too brave, if anything. no i don't think there's anything like to be too brave no yeah no, so I was, uh, yeah, yeah, out, I was quite you know. lucky that i had we had a house already mm. so like are you when i was working we bought a house but then then yeah. you've got a mortgage to pay so it's yeah, a bit but scary. you know you, you put yourself through it and you know so you said like you did a portfolio you did a website yeah. did you get in touch with um yeah and then i started bugging people bugging people <laughs> the best way to, is actually the best way to do it isn't yeah it? i think there's it no so other is. option and there's like who, they're just not going to know who you are out yeah. of the block like instagram's only going to get you so so far and it's yeah. it's not work like it is. I think Instagram is great for showing what you're doing. Mm. But I found I just got my portfolio done. Mm. So I went to an AOI appointment. So the Astro Ugh, Association of Illustrators. Yeah. They do like portfolio reviews. Nice. So I went to one of those and she was like, Oh, you should do this, you should do mm -hmm. this. So that was really helpful. And yeah. then I developed my portfolio more, started sending stuff out and finally got stuff back. Wow, well done. Um, Amazing. Yeah, so now it's... It's kind of had to do your own marketing, basically. Yeah, it is. Marketing, I am useless at as well. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like never been my strong point. So. But, but you kind of forced yourself to do it. Yeah, exactly. I guess like anything in life, and you have to put you, yourself, your soul into it completely. Yeah, and I was like ground. phoning people. I felt, you know, like phoning up, I'd sent, Cold calls, basically. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, I yeah, sent yeah. them this, like, mailer thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there was just some postcards or something. And then I was phoning them up and I was so scared beforehand. But everyone's so nice. Like, yeah, that's good. When you actually talk to them, I think things are a bit different, aren't they? When you... It's always easier when you talk yeah. to people face-to-face. and an email. And you can email. ignore an email. You can ignore an email, but a phone call is easier. Yeah. So, uh, so as you kind of are progressing here, drawing your dog yellow, <laughs> interesting colour choice. Well, my dog's a blonde dog. Oh, I see. Okay, I'm not going to. I'm not going to. No, I got a couple of questions for you. So, Douglas Elliott has asked, "Is there a fill tool in Fresco?" Yes, there is. Um, actually, it's if you can point to it. Yeah, just that one. Does it work on this? Try it. Let's try it. Let's see what happens. Yeah, there you go. You can undo, obviously. Yeah. So yeah, the fill the fill tool will work like you'd expect. It's like the same thing in Photoshop. Um, uh, so it has a bounding space, you can do that, you can mask things and fill. So hope that answers your question. Another question, Toffee K, great nickname, love it. <laughs> um, hi Rachel, do you always draw in watercolour or do you ever use the old brushes in fresco? I think we've answered that question, yeah. haven't we? Um, um, yeah, so we've answered that question. Yeah, I, could, I mean, I could do. <laughs> I haven't do. tried do you it see, enough, Do you see yourself trying to use them in the future? Yeah I, yeah, I do. And I think I saw one. It was one of the, like, Adobe campaigns recently. Yeah. Saw someone had done, like, a really cool piece that was quite flat, like most of my work is. Yeah. So I was like, oh. Using oil paints. Yeah, using nice, oil paint nice, brushes. Nice, nice. And it was really nice. So I might try. I just haven't yet. Yeah. To be continued. <laughs> Going back to the fill, Jason Holland wants to see could, if, you could, if you could do a test yeah, for them. Let's so do let's do a uh, fill test. Or oh, uh, was more a fill test. So if you could select an area with the selection tool. Oh. Right. Okay. I might need your help. Right. So we'll select an area. Oh, press and hold that. This. Yeah, let's get the options and oh. change the square. Let's do the square. There you go. Oh, and let's fill it with something. Mm, not a nice colour. Oh, of course, obviously. I think this is because it's yeah, the so live do it, brushes. Do, yeah, so That's we, was... that was a new layer. Ugh. Let's do a new layer and try it again. Yeah. Use like... The square. What, here? 
Yeah, just, just let's fill it up just to oh, show them. Oh, like show them. this. Call that thought. This is a very interesting point. So because she's done a new layer, and it's not being determined yet what that layer is, Fresco will prompt you with an option where there is going to be a vector layer or a pixel. So if she does vector layer, now she, and this and this selects it, she can zoom in and you'll see it's quite sharp around the edges. So that will be a vector shape. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that allows you between a combination of the fill tool and select tool to create quick shapes in vector. If she had chosen it to be a raster layer, a bit or a pixel layer, that means that when she zoomed in, it would have to be a bit more pixelated and rough around the edges, as you'd expect of that type of layer. Cool. Yeah. So that was a quick test that we did, guys. Um, keep the questions coming. Keep yeah, the questions coming. Yeah, I feel like coming. this is the boring bit of my drawings. Um, um, <laughs> well, the filling well, yeah, part. Yeah, it's just like... Yeah, but it's an important part of your drawing, yeah. isn't it? So you have... I even get bored doing this sometimes. So, okay, so when you're drawing, right? And you're <laughs> bored to get it doing this. Do yeah. you like listen to music? What else what yeah, do you definitely. do? Yeah, definitely. Listen, on probably something? watch Netflix mostly. <laughs> Don't you? I do the same thing really? when I'm drawing. Yeah, yeah, I have a Netflix episode thrown out of the background. Sorry, we drained off Sorry. the plans, but it's all right. It's all right. It's not a <laughs> um, uh, So, um, yeah, I do the same thing. But yeah. do you tend to watch new stuff or stuff you've watched so you don't need to pay attention? Um, a bit both. So, I, so I think I've, I love Gilmore Girls. Oh my God, that's such a good show. It's so I good. see it now. <laughs> <laughs> just, it is a good show. Gilmore I do Girls. actually love Gilmore Girls as well. It's a shame there's not a new so... season coming up anytime yeah. soon. Well, I really want them to. But... Yes, let's not get into that now. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, so the moment you're using the arrays to... Yeah, just because I went a bit over. Yes. So this is the standard arrays that, are, that comes in with Fresco. It's very, you can, it's very kind of sharp yeah, around the is. edges. So... Uh, I think if you use this thing... Yeah. yeah. On the, with that... With the pixel brushes though. But it does not the... With the... Well, not with the live brushes, because with the live brush is a wet brush. Oh. So that is... The, so actually, let's talk about the contextual tool, which is this thing, red, white thing over here. Um, that changes its function depending on which brush you do. So in the case of the, of the which you can move around as well. Mm -hmm. um, in the case of the, if we try it now, if you press that hold and you go towards an edge of, and it's, it's just, she's just literally so painting with, with water. With yeah. this one. Yeah, we can undo, yeah. So you see, so she's just painting with water. So that will spread like you've just literally painted with water. Um, if we choose the, um, pix if we do a pixel brush, yes. Um, so draw something. Uh, yeah, and now we erase that. You erase. You're erasing with the same texture. So it's not like you're using the brush now to as an eraser. That allows you to create really lovely textures if you wanted to. Yeah. Like erase into stuff. Yeah. Oh, so I could actually. So like I've gone over a bit here. Yeah, you can actually and then erase it's got, with that. Oh. Ooh. Then it's got texture too. Rather than a sharp edge. I like that. So we've just discovered something new, guys. <laughs> cool. Um, um, now I've made it really messy. Oh no. <laughs> What's going on? Do you? So I'm gonna. So you know the, the sketch line. Will you lose that in your? Yeah. Final I'm, I'll, oh, so these I are hide little, it. They will be gone. Oh, yeah. I see. Oh, that's cool. Well, um, to see. I'm gonna <laughs> ask you something about the faces. They are so interestingly different. <laughs> I love your style, by the way. Just a bit weird. I do love your style. So <laughs> thank you. Yeah, so it's quite, it's quite fun and unique in itself. Yes, and I think oh. having seen some other other pieces, like the faces are very unique. Um, um, kind of what uh, what kind of could you just kind of like your style? Have you always drawn like this? Um, yeah, I think so. Like you've, think... all, you've landed on this style. Oh from the my! Go. So not my style completely. I think I've drawn faces in a similar way. Ah, okay. But my style is just comes through just a huge amount of practice. Okay. So which is, I guess that's what What can do. I do. I yeah, just that. loads of practice. And I'm, I like to be inspired by loads of different people. So mm -hmm. you don't like pick up if it's just one person. Mm -hmm. I think you end up copying them. And like, that's not the thing to do. So this is like an example of your style, oh, yeah. right? Yes. Um, I do like this picture because <laughs> when, she, when Rachel first showed us this picture, this is what came with this picture. Please quote and quote Rachel. What, what, what's, what's so funny? I about said this? lots of people look at this in different ways. That's what you said. Yeah. <laughs> she said, I have a controversial picture. Oh. And I remember when we were kind of deciding about this um, um, session today, it's like, oh, she has a controversial picture. Like, we would love to see this picture, you know, because her style doesn't. <laughs> 
gotcha, instinctively, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> he takes you somewhere else. So actually, so guys, a question to you. So how would you interpret this picture? Give us some thoughts in, uh, in the comments. What do you think they're doing? What, the, what do you think they're doing? Yeah. But Rachel, tell us a little bit what people thought, how people, in, the different ways people interpreted this um, picture. So, well, I originally did it as like a really cutesy piece of mm. two people looking at each other yeah. in love. Okay. Um, but they're actually meant to be stargazing. Yeah. So here you go. They're looking, yeah. pointing at the moon, mm -hmm. but they're looking into each other's eyes, which is cute, right? Very cute. Yeah, but I had someone say to me, it looks like they're swearing at each other. Okay. And they've got, <laughs> like, passive-aggressive looks on their faces. I mean, this, that blows my mind. <laughs> it's like... Kind of Looking at the picture, right? It's like, how can you see <laughs> passive aggressive faces I mean, in those I could faces? I probably draw those, pen those fingers a bit better. But... The fingers, I can see why the swearing part could happen. <laughs> in all fairness, I could see why the swearing part could But I love how people have put passive aggressive faces <laughs> in this lovely picture. But, mm. you know, but as they say, art is to be interpreted yes, differently exactly. by different people. So I do quite like this controversial picture. <laughs> I find it quite cute. Actually, speaking of this, and in a minute we'll get back to the drawing, actually, let's talk about textures. I quite like how the mountains are really nicely textured yeah. there. So was that a combination of Photoshop, yeah. Illustrator? Yeah, so it was the using brushes in okay. Photoshop okay. Um, to get the texture. Oh, it's gone. Oh. Um, but the to get the texture, um, mm -hmm. I'll do it in a bit, actually. I use like... Oh, so we'll be adding texture now on top of this. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. fantastic. So, uh, this, I, I kind of just play a lot when oh, I'm so, drawing stuff. I guess, I guess it's important. Yeah, and it's nice to kind of mess about. How many times do you find yourself going over like, no, change it, yes. no, change it so much? So Those much. two fingers. Those two fingers. And I went and did a life drawing class. Okay. And I was like, right, I'm going to... I could do it. Like, were you like teaching or no. attending? Like, yeah, attending, attending it. Okay. So, as a student, I turned up like using charcoals. Obviously, I always draw on an iPad. Mm -hmm. And I started trying to like double tap, <laughs> get rid of stuff. And I was like, oh, this is real life. Oh my God. That's I need so a rubber. Funny. Well, that happened to me actually <laughs> yesterday. I was like reading it like it's I was talking to a. No, no, no. It was a similar situation because I've just got so used to using um, my phone or my, or my iPad to doing most of my stuff now. And I was on my laptop. And to kind of zoom into or click, I went and touched the screen and zoomed in with my hands. Like, no, this is not a touch. <laughs> but it's so weird how we get used to this yeah, stuff and our so natural weird. body language does that, doesn't yeah, it? Just automatically really cool, goes into it? that. It's cool and scary at the same time, yeah, I is. feel. I feel <laughs> a little bit of both. Um, so, yeah, so at the moment we are, um, we are kind of drawing, drawing the feet. feet. <laughs> ankles, yes, really. And the ankles, mm, yeah. What colour can our shoes be? Oh. Can't do them green, can we? No, we can't do them green because that would be hilarious. <laughs> Yeah. Try it. Try it. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll see in a minute what happens on screen. <laughs> I mean, oh, that's all right. That's all right. That's all right. It's working. Just green. That's great. Okay. I wouldn't use that color. <laughs> it's really acidic, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. But I quite like the, the splash of brightness you're kind of aiming yeah. for. Yeah, that's probably a bit further than I'd normally go, but... Is it really? Yeah, it looks all right. Yeah, it quite works with the pink and the... Yeah. Uh, that is usually my colour combination, actually. I love that yeah, bright I love, colours. I love bright colours. Yeah, I really love the, like, these kind of colours, so the blues and the greens and... So do you do a colour palette before, or do you...? Um, I kind of always stick to the same colours, which do is... You? Yeah. Hmm. Probably boring, but... Okay, to each their own. I think it... When you've got a style as well, I think it is quite a huge bit part, part of, of your style. It's kind of like this is kind of a piece of advice um, uh, an artist once gave me. It's like sometimes you, as, a, as a creative, you do want to change styles because you yeah. get a bit bored sometimes. But actually, you invest so much time creating that style, and it's like a brand, really. People recognize you for that. So they, when they see an image, they want to have racial presky. Yeah, vibe. exactly. So in a way, you, you stick to it because that is your unique thing in a way and changing it becomes too schizophrenic then for, for people out there. Yeah, I'm not sure about those. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure they're blending in. When they were close up, they felt stronger. Yeah, they look good. They look good. Mm, look, no. Let's redo them. Yeah. Let's do them. I wonder if I can use the fill? Yeah, let's see what happens. Colour. Maybe a bit more muted. More muted. Okay, okay. Mm, they're boring. I quite like the pattern that's creating, <laughs> accidentally. 
accidental. I always end up going to like a dark blue as well. Mm. Works with the works with the. We're looking. Sorry, She's you're boy. looking at us, looking at somewhere and looking in the distance. We're actually <laughs> looking at a screen. Sorry, so <laughs> bear with. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, that's quite nice actually. Yeah, maybe not. Mm. I wonder. Mm, let's change the go back. Once we decide what color, I mean, if people have suggestions out there, by all means, tell us. Oh, lovely! Look what we're doing. It's like a have you, tie dye. What, what, Oh, I love that. Now that works. Looks like a nice color. Yeah, that's cool. That's better. Um, um, as you can see now, guys, she's kind of mixing using um, a live watercolor brush on top of another one. Um, interestingly enough, why is the watercolor sticking to the edges? What have you done there to the layer? Oh, lock transparency. She has lock transparency. Yeah, she haven't. It just worked. Oh, did it? <laughs> <laughs> but now. It, so the. Because it can still go off the edge. Oh, so you've not locked it completely. So, no. look, but if you lock transparency, sure, yeah, then happens. it's way better. Yeah, so there's no risk when you lock transparency. You're limiting that to the edge of it, right? Yeah, look, she doesn't. It can't run over now. So that's, that's great. Right. If you kind of want to add shadowing, I like you. I like locking transparency. Like, yeah, like you're doing, draw just outside of the border and then let it bleed into it. Yeah, yeah. I like. I like doing that. Mm. Of a cheat there, guys. Yeah, it is. But yeah, so oh nice well. blue shoes. Is blue your favorite color then? I don't know what my favorite color is. I think I, my house is basically the colors of my illustrations. So I like every Ooh, color. This. Yeah, <laughs> and. This. Like a minty greens, mm. big fan of mint, and they're mm. like a mustardy color at the moment mm. for the I winter. Mint green is a solid choice. So mm. I like that as a color. Yeah. I mean, we tried to use a sort of green in this image, but clearly, guys, it wasn't working. <laughs> um, uh, we've locked. got a comment from Michael Hill. Yeah. I like Rachel's styles. It's very unique. I think I was wondering if she had tried. Red bubble. I think it's a sort of thing that might do well. I don't know anything mm. about fresco, but it looks interesting. Well. Hopefully, um, um, Michael, you'll be learning about Fresco today as much cool. as possible. And if you have questions, please ask them whilst you have us live. Do you know what Redbubble is? No. Nope. <laughs> I actually don't know is it? I think it's a thing where you like upload. Yeah, I do. I do oh, know do. what it is. Thank you. Yeah, Tell you us. upload like an image and then they can put it on T-shirts and things like that. Oh, that's cool. Coasters. And great idea then. It is a great idea. idea. Yeah. Do you, do you do merchandising and things like that? Um, I sell print. You sell prints. But that's well, it. That's, 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 that's yeah. It. I do. I want to. Like, this is why I want to do birthday cards. Birthday cards. Quite cute, actually. Yeah, nice. something yeah. a bit different. So. I'd love to see. Like, I know some of your, your work, especially the one that we have used for the holding slide to the event, which was the mug. Oh, yeah. I want that on a mug. <laughs> <laughs> the wonder does is the idea. of it. I like you know that. what I mean? Yeah. I just want that on a mug. I might, I might hit that. you up for that, actually. Yeah, that's a good idea. I, I like might that. hit you up like, Rachel, can you do this for a mug for me, please? Yeah. <laughs> that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah I'm not, I'm not, I'm not used to I hadn't come that. here, I'd be... Yeah. Huh? If I hadn't come here, I wouldn't have all this. <laughs> see, see, meeting people, talking to people. That's yeah. how ideas come, guys. That's exactly. how ideas come. So now you're adding... Uh, kind of... More shadowing, or yeah, sh shades, or is this? So I've just. Oh. So I've been. <laughs> I'm just putting some, like, kind of a bit darker round to the areas that I want to be a bit darker. So. Um, Fine, yeah. Yeah, just to, because I'll go, I go over the top of it as okay. well, but this is kind of bleeding a little bit more than I wanted it to. But Why don't you reduce the water then on it? <sighs> how do you do that? This. Oh. That's how you do it. Get rid of that. Well, that looks all right. Cool. There you go. Learn something new. Yep. So uh, on the right hand that side, guys, you've got the properties of the brushes just above my head. So that allows you to kind of do uh, co control more things like the flow of the water, how like um, um, opaque or transparent the brushes, how much you load. Like for example, sometimes when I'm doing shadowing with black. I really reduce the loading of the brush, so it just literally just becomes a shadow. Um, uh, okay. So it's really useful to do that cool. way to help you so, out. Another thing you could do actually, Rachel, say for example, you get a, let's show them actually. Yeah. So if you get like get the pencil tool, for example, and you draw yep. with black, for example, or a, color, oh, yeah. or a color, some just do a line somewhere, yeah. That, that. And then you get the water brush and you hold, you hold that and you paint over it. In theory, it should start Ooh. bleeding it. 
You see? Cool. <clears throat> so you can, you can use... Uh, so it's like having a watercolour. Exactly. Pencil. So you can use the pixel brush to create an outline and then you use that to blend it in maybe. That's something really like cool. It. So that is uh, something cool you could do. Mm, uh, I like yeah. that. We can mm. see a possible use case in the future for Rachel to be doing yeah. that. Yeah, should we try it? Why not? Oh, that's kind of the wrong colour. I always draw people ginger. And I don't know why, but I like it. It's your it's a nice ginger. No, both brown. Both brown. Yeah, I just like the colour. It, 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 it works really nice nicely color. in illustrations. Nice yeah, because brown is just <laughs> <laughs> so boring. Brown isn't is it? so boring. Ugh. Brown is so boring, yeah. apparently, according to Rachel. I mean, I could like do it. it in a random colour, but. Mm. Do you do that? So, how fantasy do your drawings tend to be? I think it. Not a lot. Not a lot. No, it's quite a lot of my. This sounds really boring, though. Yeah. My inspiration is quite like my life. Your every day. Yeah. Mm. So like this is quite. But I think that's day. what's exciting about this. You know, the every day. A lot of people think this is boring stuff, but yeah, I guess true. you have to seek inspiration from the every day because yeah. that is, it's what it is. It's life, isn't it? The reality. Realistically speaking, anyways. Yeah, exactly. Um, and a lot of artists, like famous classical artists as well, that's their everyday is, is what they find interesting. Yeah. You know? hmm. How many times do you have to get, have special occasions in your life? Yeah, that's true. Like, you wouldn't be doing anything. <laughs> exactly. It'd be a very expensive life, wouldn't it? Very expensive life You're indeed. Doing special occasions special. all the time. <laughs> <laughs> mm. So, do you do any exhibitions, actually, Rachel? Um, not really. No, I'd like to. Would I you think, consider but, it? Yeah, yeah, I think, but because it's, oh, actually, I think I am doing one soon. Wow. I've just remembered Revelation, that. people. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm doing like a small one okay. in Milton Keynes Art Centre. I've got some pieces going up for like a Christmas oh, event. That's nice. Yeah, that's which nice. is nice. I, and that's where I do my life drawing class as well. So it's quite, oh, close to home. Um, oh yeah, because you live around. Yeah, there, it's you? really yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, and it's fun. But I'd like to do some proper ones. <laughs> I'd like to paint, but I do this. So you like physical of painting? Yeah, yeah, physical painting. Yeah. I just... So, so we do have a question. Um, oh. What did you from um, WM two? Hey Rachel, what did you use to draw before and color with before Fresco was launched? Um, so I used uh, Photoshop. They've got all the brushes. There's all yeah. the brushes in that as well. Fantastic. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Yes, as we said, like Photoshop has a lot of. Uh, Sorry, Photoshop, all the Photoshop brushes are here in Fresco, actually. And if we have time, we'll show you as well um, Photoshop on the iPad, which is now launched, guys. So feel free to download it and have a play with, OK? Um, um, so we are moving on to drawing the hands now. Yeah, I've just figured I missed this hand out. Mm. Oh, well. I always do this as well. There's always like one foot or one hand. I am, you know, in, in your defence, I am distracting you quite a bit. Yeah, that's my true. incessant chatter. Quite distracting. Quite distracting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. It's not that bad, actually. I think it could be worse. My dogs are normally like that. Are they? Like, sometimes they just get in this mood that really... Wait, so you have two dogs, right? Yeah, I have two. What are their names? They're called Summer and Lyra. I do love those names. Lyra's of, a good name. I love Lyra. Summer, we had to, she's a puppy, so. Is she still a puppy? Yeah, she's kids? like five months old. Oh my gosh, she's a pure puppy. Yeah, she's, yeah, but she's pure puppy as well. Like a bit too much sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I think we just, Lyra's only a year old, okay. a year and a half now. So if we kind of got past the puppy stage and then we're like, oh, she needs a friend. So get another puppy. Yeah. It's do you find that they're like children, basically? Yeah, they are. It's, a nightmare most of the time. <laughs> no, they're, they're so lovely. Who's with them at this point in town? Oh, uh, my husband is. Your husband so, is, yeah. yeah. So you kind of stitched Actually, them up. you know, I think they're at home because he's gone and played golf. They're home by themselves? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but they're fine cool. on their own, is Are fine. they? Are yeah. They? Are, he, are they starting like, to play with each other? and like? Yeah, they like, play a lot, but okay. they play fight. And, well, I'm all the yeah. animals, isn't it, at the yeah. end of the day? Are they the same breed? Yes, they're both cockapoos. So oh. they kind of like... Not really breeds. Not really breeds. So yeah. when we were on the call earlier, like what, two <laughs> weeks ago, which one was it that jumped on you? Um, I think it's probably the little one. The Summer, little one. yeah, the oh. baby. They're so cute. They were really cute. I can vouch for the fact that they're cute. So when you're drawing, you said they jump on you. And yeah, they and they just them. like when I if I have a call, they'll be in the background barking, or <laughs> which 
They did. They didn't did. they? They did, yeah, yeah. they did. Uh, but the you know. Postman, like a classic dog thing to do, isn't it? Yeah, it is indeed. <laughs> it is indeed. Um, but most of the time if you dance with them, they look at you like this, like, what the hell are you doing? Okay, cool. So this is clearly <laughs> a snapshot of uh, Rachel's life. Yeah. Her yeah. dancing. When is your birthday, Rachel? It's in June. It's in June. So yeah. this has actually happened, guys. Yeah. <laughs> we know that this has actually happened. Rachel dancing in yeah. June. With um, my dogs. With her dogs. Yeah. Her dogs. There's two oh. now. Oh, we didn't have the other one at the time. So this is, uh, which one is this? This is Lyra. Lyra. So Lyra's the older one. Yeah. Yeah. She's the, yeah, she's the funny one. <laughs> she's a funny one. Oh, they've all got their own characters. Of course they do. They? Of course they do. Yeah. They're... Cute characters. Somewhere, cute characters. yeah. Because like... you put a hat on her as well. Yeah, she needs a hat. She needs a hat. <laughs> she doesn't like it when I actually put hats on her, so I need to draw it. <laughs> <laughs> so put it on, please. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's what I normally do. <laughs> Uh, what have we got left? Got to draw the little... I, what? I don't know what you call them. What, which ones? What, what's this? Oh, gosh, I need to Like know. a little horn Whistle. Thing. Oh, Wait, something yeah, whistle. Yeah, the it ones is. that go yeah. out, yeah. Yeah, paper whistle? No. Mm, I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. That's good. Mm, That's good. I don't know what colour to do. I love the choice of the aqua green. I yeah, that. Like, that working so well in that image. I think I need something else. Yeah. Maybe... Kind of always stick to the same colours. There's nothing wrong with that, <laughs> you know. Uh, pink, dark pink. Pink might blend too much. Yeah, maybe. it's all right. All right. Yeah. So we've got 20 minutes left. Oh, better speed up. <laughs> That's all right. That wasn't, you know, we don't need to finish it today, but um, um, oh, you're not far off anyway. No, it? so I'll... Um, Maybe if I show you what I do, and then because I was going to put some text in as well. Yeah, draw so. some text. What do you want to show us? Text? Uh, should I do that now? No, I don't. Please. Right, so I have put a basis on because oh, I spend oh. hours like fiddling yeah. around with text, and I think you'll see that when we <laughs> go through the time lapse in a minute because I yeah. just never know what to do. Oh, I love that. That is so, so cute. This is what I've done, but yeah. I'm going to go over the top with like, um, let's do it in a vector. Yeah. And then I guess I can use it again as well, which would be good for something else. If These I are all the vector brushes we have. We are planning to add more guys' vector brushes um, in later releases. Oh, I didn't know you could do this. Oh, what's what? Is this new? Yes, yeah, so this is the latest update. So you've got the recents, but also you've got all your color. So if you save color swatches, guys, They'll be able, you'll be able to save them over here. So That's I'm assuming these are your, the ones cool. that you've been using previously. These are, yeah, from Photoshop. Well done. That's cool. Ah, see? Mm. That's why, that's the power of the Creative Cloud, guys. Everything <laughs> is connected. <laughs> that's mind blown. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna, I might go for like some more square edges on the text. Oh, so you're not going to use completely copy no. that? No, no, no. So you're going to build around it? Yeah, and I, I, this is what, when I do like hand lettering or something, I'll do like a base, kind of like a Guide. skeleton type yeah. thing, and yeah, then yeah, yeah. go over the top, and sometimes I don't like it. So I'll <laughs> start again. Start again. <laughs> I think with the hand lettering, I find it a bit harder to um, get to something that I really like. Mm. Um, so I spend ages just messing about with it. Just a reminder, guys, so she is using a pixel brush over there. Yeah, you can smooth this a bit. Yes, you can. Yeah, so it doesn't, that's better. Yeah. So it doesn't pick up any of your, the bits that I've messed up. The vibrations. <laughs> yes, yes, that's it of my hand. I mean, that's a technical term, clearly. <laughs> oh, look. Look at that. That's nice. Uh, and as you know, guys, also exciting news announced this, this week at Max as well is the fact that we've got, speaking of vectors, Adobe Illustrator coming mm. on uh, the iPad. So that is going to be cool, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I just saw it. So like there. this? Yeah, I mean. You can use it like this. Yeah, exactly. But did you see, did you manage to get time to see the demo of it? No, I haven't. Oh, that's the, the, one of the coolest bits. Like, um, um, the uh, demonstrator was doing exactly kind of drawing hand lettering and was drawing a shape on it and it just the AI automatically created a beautiful curve. Like it didn't destroy it, but just literally smoothened it out. So oh. Oh, it was incredible. Yeah, yeah. That's so then I wouldn't have to worry app. about exactly, any of this. Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. And pro uh, most likely to have interoperability with Fresco, obviously. Cool. So it'll be interesting to see how, how that will off. But that's coming at some point, much later next year. <laughs> oh, that's really cool. Oh, oh, that's cool. We're very excited about that. But back to Fresco, guys. Back to Fresco. 
Oh, too big. Too big. Big. There you go. So this is what I end up doing when I do hand lift. <laughs> it takes you like, time. Like, spend ages just tinkering with everything. Well, because you want it to be beautiful yeah, and perfect, exactly. don't you? Exactly, and yeah. I think... So will, will you be doing Christmas, is it Christmas cards? But everything yeah, I'd like cards? to. I do, I've kind of left it a bit late. I haven't done any Christmas cards yet. Do you send, do you like Christmas cards? Yeah, I love, I just love cards. I just think it's like a, I don't know, it's just a nice thing to give to people. I see, I, I come from Malta, so it's a different culture altogether. Like, we do not have that kind of so thing. That's weird. Why is I it find weird? it weird. Is that weird? <laughs> yeah, I do. I've got family that are like, no, we don't like cards, but... I don't know, it's just... It's a very ancient tradition, actually. I yeah. found out that it's Ooh. been stamming from Chinese times Ooh. to... And even the Egyptians used to send cards, greeting Ooh. cards. Mm. Apparently, though, because obviously back in the day, you know, they didn't have... Uh, the greeting cards were considered as a really valuable, valuable thing, an expensive thing because they were all handmade. So they had to draw them by, be commissioned by an artist. They were like little pieces of work of art, artistry, basically. Uh -huh. But then about, I think, 1850, when uh, kind of things like the printing press came to be, postage became much more easy and everything, it just devalued them completely. So they moved from something to be very valuable in terms of price-wise to something that is is come on more common, you know. But that's what happens with things that are mass produced, I guess. Um, still though, value in terms of sentimental value, that yeah. never changes, doesn't it? No, it's so nice to get a card. You don't think so? No, no, I, so I don't think so. That makes me sound like I'm a monster. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, no, I hate cards, don't Sorry. give me a card. <laughs> no, I, I love me. getting cards, yeah. you know. Since someone was thinking about you. But um, um, been... it's not something instinctively I think to get someone. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I guess if, that, yeah. if you're not used to it, then it's different. Isn't yeah, it? it's, it's kind of like one of those things. Although, this although. Every country's a bit weird like that. <laughs> oh, please. Every country is, has its own little quirks, I say. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so this will be uh, the great thing about Fresco, obviously, that you can choose the different si paper sizes. Like when you start yeah, a new document. Oh, awesome. look at that. I love that. That's awesome. Just add some depth to it. Yeah, yeah, a bit of shadow. Nice. Love that. So then I'm going to go in and get rid of and colour these in as well. Yeah, so this is... Oh, I feel like I'm just going to show you my process for one letter because... Of course, I've yes. I've got some other stuff to do for the other bits. But so I then go back. Mm-hmm. Oh, and you're giving that a bit of look. Yeah, at. so it's a bit oh, nice. 3D. 3D. Yeah, 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 I like um, I like it when it looks 3D. <laughs> I think it's just. Do you know what's cool? Because obviously your images are very flat. Yeah, so that's true. So it kind of really actually. works really strongly with that combination of both, uh, yeah. of both that and. Uh, I'd love to this. do some like just hand lettered cards actually as well. That'd be quite cool. That'd be nice. Mm. Really nice. Really nice. So really many nice. ideas today. So many ideas today. So many ideas today. Um, uh, um, cool. I'll then lock the transparency. Ooh, what are we going to do now? Yeah. How do I do that? Lock transparency. Oh, oh now. it's a vector. So you cannot lock transparency if the layer is vector. So okay. if you want to lock, if you want to. So what do you want to do exactly? Is it because you want to paint inside of it? Yeah. So isn't it easy to do a mask layer? Yes. Then? So we're going to do a mask. So. She, so there's two ways that Rachel could have gone about this. She could have. Um, oh, well, I have to convert it, don't I? You still, do you, yeah, you still need... Uh, then it needs to be a pixel. Oh, that's... That's odd. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, sorry, where are we? Yeah, so you've done it now, no? Yeah, it's turned it into a, a pixel. pixel. That's okay. okay isn't that's it? okay. Yeah, cool, that's fine. Um, and then I'll copy this. Because I, I don't... When I work, I don't like... Um, Kind of ruining. I don't know if it's ruining. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I, I prefer to have it yeah. um, separate, so I can paste the mask on this layer. So what Rachel has done, just to repeat what she has done, she has uses the select tool to select a mask around the B letter that she has created. Then what she's done, she's copied that mask and pasted it onto a new layer. That means that now she can draw on that layer within the constraints of that mask without drawing on the previous layer, which is the BS. She said she wants to keep things non-destructive, so she, if she changes her mind later, she can oh. make quick edits. I'm doing it on the wrong yeah, layer. that's it, yeah. So then, oh, that's a bit big. I'm going to add some text. 
Oh, so what you have done, you've chosen another type of brush. Yeah, you? so I've chosen the splatter brush, which is what I do next anyway. Oh, wow, yeah. And Can then, we zoom in a bit more, actually? Yeah. Yeah, there you go. It's quite pixelated. But yeah, but it's, it's, it's very... It look that's quite bigger. nice. And so then it adds a bit more 3D. Shadowness. Oh, I love that. Guys, we're learning so much today. <laughs> go home, download Fresco and start doing this. It's not Fresco is a free app, isn't it? You yeah. You get most of it, yeah? So good. So it's very good. So please... Start creating stuff. Don't tell me that you're not an artist. Sure. There's no, that's not an excuse. Just pick oh, a no. pencil. Pick your. You can actually draw with your finger on fresco. By the way, you don't need an Apple pencil oh, to yeah. do it. So, um, well, probably you've got it set that it doesn't do that. No, I haven't actually. Oh, you haven't. There you go. <laughs> so, it's automatically set for you. Recognizes yeah. the pencil probably doesn't. Yeah, but it you does. can actually draw with your finger. A pencil is recommended because you'll be able to do these lovely yeah, and controls. It's, it's better, yeah, isn't it? It's much better. Much more natural. Yeah, I don't think I knew how to do it. With your fingers, like you'd be doing that. Yeah, one of the settings I couldn't change. <laughs> I couldn't figure out how to do it. So yeah, oh, I love so that. That's so adding a bit of depth mm, to it. A bit more here. Yeah, cool. Um, um, yeah, so I did this as well. Do you know Lauren Hom? She's a hand lettering. No, I don't know her. Ah, she's like really cool mm. um, hand lettering. That's Art. what she does, that's yeah, that's artist. Awesome. So she's an illustrator as well. Okay. Uh, but she does really cool stuff with letters, and I love, love, love her work. <laughs> um, Do you love her work? Yeah, I just love it. <laughs> 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 yeah, so, I don't know. I feel like... So how far off are we from finishing this lovely quite drawing? A quite a long way. Mm. Mm. Quite so a long way. I'm going to put this behind here. Yeah. Pull that down. Stop. Done. Move that down here. Oh. Ooh. I didn't mean to do that. So that's how you create a group, incidentally. Yeah. Accidentally oh, created yeah. a group. But, you know. You can do groups and groups as well, I learned. Yes, apparently. Very you can do cool. Groups and groups. So you can have a group within a group and a group, like you do in Photoshop. Yeah, exactly. So I'm going to change this color to like a darker mm -hmm. color. Nice. Oh. Using the fill tool? Yeah. Lovely. Okay. Oh, that's cool. And then make it doesn't look as good as. I like make that a bit, so it makes a bit more three D as well. Nice, like um, that. So cool. hope I don't know. I probably do something else on the top layer, but we'll let's get back to the drawing. Let's get back to the drawing. Yeah, yeah. Um, I can group these, can't I? Put these all together. Yeah, yeah. It'd be cool to start doing that now. Put those in. Oh, I've done it all in the wrong way. That's okay. You can go inside and change them. Double click. So that is... I love how we still say, still say double click, even though we're doing double tap. I'm going to... I still say double tap. Yeah, I'm going to go back to that later. I've messed it yeah, up a bit too much. It's okay. <laughs> let's, let's touch on that later. Yeah, so, what's next so next doing? up, I've got all of my layers, like mm -hmm. the base color for everything. And I'll go in and um, do like a... with a pixel brush now. Mm -hmm like an inky brush. Nice. Um, choosing. I always do this in like a darky colour mm. um, and then change the opacity of the layer to multiply. So that's another good thing. So you know the blend modes that you get in Photoshop, guys, there's also blend modes here in Fresco. So you can apply a blend mode to a pixel layer. Mm. And what are you going to use this technique for? To draw shadows and yeah. finish in. Fantastic. So then, and I, I try to use blue actually rather than a black. So it's not very yeah, not harsh. too much. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then just go in and do the colours. Where's my shadow going to be? Looks like it's that. I've already decided. Yes. Shadows yeah. are going to be on the right side, so I'm yeah. going to go through and add the shadows there. So the light source is on, on the, yeah beyond that side, yeah. Um, that doesn't look good. <laughs> So yeah, uh, there's a lot of like toing and froing, I think, in my work. Well, you now. can't expect it to be all done up quickly. You know, that's part of the process. Yeah, it is. And I do a lot of like, mm, that doesn't look very good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Get rid of it. It's quite, I like it though. I like the process of mm, like, oh, I don't like it. Let's but try something else. else. Let's try something else. I think it's kind of part of that's an artist's prerogative yeah. to be able to experiment with yeah. things. I guess that's the advantage of doing things like digital painting, guys, you know, that you can just try different things. True. Go experiment. You can do that with a pen. Well, a you'd be crying because I could ruin the piece. I have <laughs> yeah. to start again. God, maybe, I don't think I could paint. Because <laughs> I think I'd probably mess it up and then get really upset with myself. To be fair, like I, because I do a combination of both. When I yeah. do the, I've started doing more digital art because I'm actually finding myself more experiments more with it. Whereas 
I, when I have less time, it's less, you have to, when you're doing like proper paintings, um, you have to do, uh, you have to plan a lot before. Oh, because yeah. Because you go, I, if, especially if you have a commission and you have to deliver it by something, you'd like, I can't ruin this because that means I have to start again. Yeah. And like, it's very hard to fix things, actually. <sighs> Stress. Yeah, I don't think I could deal with it. <laughs> Rachel oh. can't deal with it. No, I can't deal with stress very well. <laughs> so we've got about five minutes left, oh, actually. Gosh. Sorry, right. I don't want to stress We'll just you. finish the head off. Let's finish the head off. Let's put some eyes on her. <laughs> <laughs> or is that too much to ask? Yeah, no, she doesn't get eyes. She doesn't no, get eyes? No, not this one. Not this one. She only gets a nose. Sometimes I just prefer not to draw nice. eyes. How come? What's the story about? Because, like, I... Oh, I just was finding it really hard to draw faces and I didn't like doing it. Mm -hmm. um, and I was like, what could I do that would just s stop me needing to do it on every single person? Because I think sometimes if I draw eyes, like they just look a bit funny. And they kind of change the piece a lot. They do. I actually quite like the fact that they didn't have faces. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Well. It's very interesting. That, but sometimes, know, it's unique. Yeah. It's very unique. It's very yeah, unique. and sometimes I, like, sometimes I do eyes, mm. and sometimes I'll just not do like a nose, mm. or I'll just do a mouth. And it just is what the piece needs, I think. So I just judge it based on what is going on. So, like this girl, she probably would be happy, so her eyes, eyes would be more like this, but then all oh, that's in the wrong place. See? Yeah, I see what you mean. I guess right. Fair, fair enough. You know, so, it also gives us unique touch yeah, to your style. And it, I think you can take stuff away, yeah, and yeah. then it's got the same kind of feeling. Nice. Um, then, Do you have a question from Jason Holland? Is that like, so we know how he's speaking about real paintings. He would like to know, like, what. Um, of this kind of real painting style, you know, we got all her colors, we got oil brushes. Yeah. Would you like want Adobe to bring into fresco? What aspect of real life painting? Well, I feel like this kind of live brush thing is is doing it. For yeah, you. <laughs> it's really cool, and it's I don't, I don't paint enough to be like. I see what you this mean. This is what I, I do. What I wish I did, but yeah. you know, this is what I do. Like, I don't, I don't do it you enough. Don't do to it know. enough. Sorry. Yeah. I think I think if I if I can if I would love to answer I think one of my wishes would be to bring the gouache now. Oh yeah, as definitely. A, gouache, as the yeah. next effect, okay. I think that would be really cool. I, I take think. it back. Yeah, yeah that's, that's what I that's want. what Rachel wants. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for putting words in your mouth. Yeah, no, it's true. It's exactly. I what think I'd that like. would be a really cool thing to do. The next live brush would be amazing if yeah. that was the case. Yeah, please. Um, Adobe um, gods. Huh? Adobe gods. We all fingers crossed. Awesome. Hopefully, someone is listening to us. <laughs> I'll, I'll relay the message. I'll relay yeah, the message. Yeah, that's guys. exactly. Like, if you guys have any suggestions, please tell us now what you would you like to see. That would be amazing if we hear more from you. And actually, uh, Adobe, we always listen to kind of this kind of stuff because we need to design products around what you guys need, not just out of the blue, right? Yeah. Cool. So you're also doing some outlining then. Yeah. So this is uh, this is I end up doing going over and over and over the same thing, which okay. is probably quite boring for people watching. But no, it's I do like I, I love how it's starting to give her a bit more definition. Yeah. Style, so actually. she kind of ends up with it's it's mostly the shadow as well. I don't actually play a lot with the light, mm. like highlights or anything. Yeah. Um. But I'll go through and then do like a pencil. Mm -hmm everywhere <laughs> again so it take like i think my work takes quite a while because i'll do the base flat layer then mm -hmm. i do like an inky layer that will um for like the main shadows mm -hmm. and then i'll go and do this so i'll go through in a pencil and i do like two or three layers of pencils yeah depending on how i feel <laughs> <laughs> like how the piece looks um and go over the shadows and it just gives everything a bit more depth and it makes it look Indeed. a bit more real but even though it's definitely not real <laughs> so we've got about three minutes left oh do you want to do a quick time lapse oh yeah sure let's let's, let's try that time lapse so rachel will you be finishing this image and post uh, sharing it with yeah, us yeah i'll so. do it i'll share it with everyone if you want nice. put it on my social media as well lovely so I've not even got halfway, have I? <laughs> Maybe not, but let's show oh, well. time lapse. But yeah, this is the this is the process. This, is the this process. little this head. Is the um, so I do this, don't I? Yeah, export. Time lapse. Press play. It will load up. Okay, so this is my sketching process. Yeah, so it's cool. So you actually kind of copied that in live. Yeah. yeah. I love the fact, like you can see, guys, all the all the variations that she's done, and that's part of the creative process, isn't it? Yeah, I, I really enjoy. Sketching bit is actually really fun because yes. 
I just, love, I love all the different. <laughs> <laughs> just things I come up. That was a party like nobody's watching except your dog. I quite like yeah, that. Yeah, I, I do as well. Like it's like just that. so much text. <laughs> <laughs> but that's cool. I think that's part of the fun of it. Yeah. Yeah, and look, now go. this is all the drawings we were doing today. <laughs> there you go. Lots of colouring in. Oh, it's a lot quicker now. Well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> if only I could work this going <laughs> a lot more done. <laughs> um, yeah, but yeah, no. so I did. I added some shading already to the leg. Yeah, yeah. Which yeah. then I go over again for anyone yeah. that's interested. Yeah. So I think oh. I think as this finish draws behind us, guys, um, I think we're coming to an end now. Um, how was that, Rachel? How you feel cool. about that call? Yeah. Good times, yes. Um, thanks so much, guys, for watching us. It's been a pleasure once again. And tune in next week for another Adobe Creative Collab. And have a fantastic weekend. Thank you, Rachel. Thanks. And see you next time. Bye-bye. having me.